Hello everyone, um, Herbert here. So as I've been saying in the past videos, I'm recording these kind of videos about productivity, technology, and uh, we'll be talking also a bit about fitness in some of the other videos coming. So if you like those and if you're interested in these kind of things uh, about technology, about uh, software development or photography, so yeah, you can subscribe to this channel. This one is going to be dedicated about these subjects. So in this, in today's video, I'm going to talk a bit more about what's on my iPad, what uh, the type of applications that I have on my iPad, and try to help you out if you to see so you can check if there is anything that could be interesting for you to to use on your side. So first of all, why do I have an iPad? Because yeah, most of people we don't really don't need tablets. I really did not need a tablet until until like last year. So I was really loving them. I wanted a lot seeing them in the hands of other people, not me. I didn't really thought about having one, having a, especially the kind of expensive. So I'm doing photography in my other, you know, on my on my weekends. And so I came out to be needing like a, to show models or people with whom I'll be doing photography, the, the position to, to, to show them things. And the laptop was not, uh, was not really ideal because it's kind of big and it's something important to my, you know, to my workflow and to everything. So I, I prefer not having to have my laptop all the time with me. So uh, the iPad, I use it uh, mainly to show my clients uh, the type of positions, the type of work, to show them like pictures, things. And I also uh, find myself like using them, using it to plan these photo, photo shoots. But I also end up like using it to cut some media, you know, like it's a, it's a good, it's a very good medium for watching videos, not movies, not movies at all. But yeah, why not watch a, like, a quick YouTube video or something like that. So I have an iPad Air uh, last year's 2020. I think it's Gen 4. So let's see what I have here. So I have mainly on my, my on my home screen. I have only one home screen. I don't have like a lot of other things. I'm trying to have like simple things like minimal applications. Like if I don't use an application for a couple of let's say weeks, uh, I end up like deleting it. So here I have the weather. I have the well, the watch, which is a kind of tautology. Yeah, now that think of it. Maybe I will get rid of it. I have this uh, battery, which so here it's showing me only the tablet and uh, yeah, the pencil. This thing is expensive. Yeah, not sure if it is worth it. And normally I can end up like having like the, um, the AirPods when I have them or the iPhone when it's near and things like that. I have the calendar uh, like I had in my um, iPhone. I have also the Andel. I really love this application. I, I think Andel, if you if you want us to work to go to work together, you can tell me I'm really loving this application and all it does. And yeah. I really use it most of the time when I'm working, when I want to go into a uh, deep work mode, you know, I really put in on it. Uh, there is this, <laughs> there is this move. This move, um, <laughs> I don't know if I could call it like a music or anything. I like, I love also the animations. The animations are really, really awesome. But uh, the only problem is that move works better. Or so it's, it's, it's this application is something that connects to play this thing to your uh, AirPods, to your tablet or Mac, and even to your Apple Watch. So when you are walking, it kind of sync the rhythm to 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 your rhythm in which you are walking to your you know your velocity. I still have to try it in the gym and try to see if it's becomes like a bit quicker, you know, like get into a gym mode. I really love these animations. I tweet them out, asking them if they, if it was possible to have it like all the time. I would love to have it like on a big screen, you know, it's, it's much more so, you know, like I can watch this all day. Anyway, the other thing I have uh, is to find my application, you know, to find my application from Apple. This is something, this is one of the reasons why I'm into this ecosystem. I ended up like plunging in this ecosystem. Like, the, I think I will be staying for some time. So here you can see the lower part. This is my, this is my bag. It's like my camera bag, I mean bag. I put, put an AirPod in it, an AirTag an air tag in it and I will probably do a video about what are the things that I have in my bags like my work bag, my gym bag and also my photography bag. Yeah, I'll probably put this on this channel. So uh, this application uh, really shows me this. So this is the main thing, uh, the one, these are the devices and you can see that I got my AirPods Pro 
at my cousins uh, in Belgium last weekend. But yeah, they are coming. So and these are like the the whole list of public uh, of. Um, Apple device that they do have. I also have the PicTime application. So it's the only application that I have here on my main, uh, on my home screen. It's not the quickest application and I think my internet connection also not being the quickest. This is not helpful. So I have a couple of galleries, the client, or like most of my client galleries that they uh, delivered this past month uh, are in there. So that's where everything is. Which one can I open without ending in prison or something? Yeah, this is like the Monza, Monza 2021. So I went with my friends. So it was for my birthday and I went to this Formula One Grand Prix, the Italian Grand Prix in Monza in September. And this was, it was one of my very first time. I just started watching and following Formula One and uh, yeah, it was good. So this peak time, peak time also, yeah, you can you can hit me up maybe on my photography channel, but yeah, you can send me an email and uh, we can try to see how we can work together. So yeah, peak time. The other applications I have are here on the on the dock and so there's Udemy, Notion and uh, so Udemy. So Udemy, it's, um, it's a good, very good platform for learning and what I love about Udemy compared to the other ones that do exist out there is that when you buy a course, when you buy um, a course, it's, it's yours forever. You don't, you don't need to be paying like a, subscri you know, like a monthly subscription to have a, to still have access to that license. So I bought it, at, let's say 13 euros or 13 dollars. These are things that change all the time and I get to watch it all the time or, or I, I get to watch it. Uh, I think it's like for life or something like that. And as you can see in most of my courses, uh, so it's about front-end development and Final Cut Pro, you know, like editing, uh, wedding editing. I took a couple of AM, you know, like interviews, preparation and stuff like that. Was at the time I was like thinking maybe going to into AM. I have Notion. So yeah, Notion, I think you know it from uh, a lot of YouTubers are talking about Notion and they're really hyping it up love it. It's what I use to organize most of things. Um, I, I, normally I'm into Google Workspace, you know, like into the Google Agenda, the Gmail and Google Drive. So most of my stuff are still there. I'm trying to transition to Notion. It's not that easy. You know, you have to, you have your habits, you know, you have your ways of uh, doing things. So you have to change those. So yeah, it's gonna take some time. I have Endo, as just showed you. So I think I will be able to really take advantage of Endo the day I will have like a complete ecosystem of, uh, how are they called? Apple HomePods or Nest, you know, this, it's like these small speakers. So you can have like an immersive soundtrack, like constantly being played in your in your place. I have Flipboard. Uh, so Flipboard is an application that I used to have on Android like way, way back. I don't remember, like seven years ago. And I really loved it. And yeah, I tried to use it here, uh, but it's not really that. I don't know. I, you know I'm, I'm, I'm finding myself not really loving it here. I don't know why. Maybe because I was not really using it. Maybe it's kind of a lost track of what I like and what I read and now it's really struggling to do it. So then I have YouTube, of course, you know, consuming media. I have Lightroom to edit pictures. I do I do find myself uh, editing some pictures here. So this, this is typically a wedding of uh, friends of mine in uh, Zofingen. It's in the Swiss, in the German speaking Swiss part of Switzerland. And I, I do, find, yeah, as I was saying, I do find myself like editing pictures on, on the iPad, but not really doing like a whole, like a whole uh, gallery uh, editing on, uh, on the iPad. It's mostly like just by pleasure, I, I will end up like editing one picture and trying to see how it is. Uh, I did a quick video about me. I mean, I mean, was it me having fun with editing a picture on the iPad, but also like filming it and trying to edit on on myself. So maybe yeah, I'll put the video in the description, uh, the link to the video in the description. It's on my second channel on my photography channel. The other one, the other application, which is like one of the main thing, one of the main reason I have this tablet, as I was saying, it's for photography. It's uh, this application. This application is called Unscripted. Unscripted something reach me out, let's work together. So this uh, application lets me like completely manage 
my photo shoot like from the beginning to the end i have not started like sending like invoices using this one but it can really really uh, help you you know you you have like a, a way of managing the photo shoots you have a sun track i need you have a suggestion for the camera settings i can show you like yeah, these are the camera settings that they will be going to be telling you show you an, ex an example of picture like full sun and then they give you like uh, yeah the f-stop the shutter speed ISO, the Kelvin. So it's a very, very good application, and I really, I really enjoyed what tells the Sun Tracker. Yeah, <laughs> Sun Tracker. We are in general in Geneva, so ah, uh, the weather is just completely shitty. Maybe I will show you outside how it is, and I'm even worried about the, the video I will end up. Anyway, so yeah, it will show you the blue hour, sunrise, the golden hour. That the morning's golden hour and how it will end up. You have, uh, you can manage photo shoots. I won't really, really show you all the photo shoots. There's a, this photo shoot I'm trying to plan. It's, it's one that I'm going to do with just myself. But the key feature of this application is, I mean, the one that I really love about it. It's the prompts and the poses. So there is, you can browse. Like let's say you're you're planning a photo like a photo shoot. Let's say it's um, I don't know. Uh, I was talking yeah I was talking about this one I'm trying to do with my like all the portraits of myself. So you have these examples like tons and tons of examples coming from different photographers, different photographs of all kinds and all genres. So let's say like these photographers branding. So you will have these poses that they will be shown as examples. You see, and what I love about it, it's like you have all types of editing, you know, you have these like almost like natural colors, um, but enhanced stuff. So the way you use it is that you're going to be clicking on poses. Da, 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 da. And uh, da, for example, da, 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 choose and then you click on add. And once it's there, you can open the pose, the pose shows up. So you have the direction and you have the prompt. So it's really, 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 really interesting. It comes from different uh, photographers and from using different genre and it's really, really inclusive. So you will have all kinds of models like uh, in all sizes and everything. The other application I really love about this uh, iPad, don't take into account of this. It's, come on, it's art. I mean, it's this application. What is its name again? <laughs> Sketchbook. It's this application, Sketchbook. Sketchbook uh, is a, it's an application that lets you draw with the pencil. So this is the other application I bought this uh, iPad for. And the idea is to sketch out some some models, some things I have. I'm trying to bring back my clothing uh, line, I could call it. It's a kind of sportswear thingy. And the logos and the, um, the ideas when I have to express them to, to the artists that are making like the, the logos or, or, or even all the other drawings, I have to I have to express it somehow, you know. So the best idea, the best way of doing it is by drawing it and sending it as a, a sketch. So the way, the best way of doing it is using this sketch. So yeah, that's my home screen. And that's like 98% of what I do with this iPad. I really, really rarely go outside of this uh, home screen. The other application you will have, you have like um, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, Instagram on iPad. Instagram on iPad, it's just, it's uh, it's like it doesn't exist actually. This, look at the size, you see? It's really, really awful. The other application I do have that is kind of interesting, it's Dashlane. Dashlane, something, hit me up, let's work together. It's, uh, it's a password manager and uh, yeah, it's, helps me like only have to memorize like one one password and then give me access to uh, all my passwords they're different i don't even really know them and they're really strong and yeah very very good security thing the other application i have that i want to talk about it's uh, a better planner this is like if you want it it's, it's like an improved google maps for evs for electrical vehicles i do i do own tesla model 3 long range and what the very first thing you end up learning when you have when you own an EV is that when you have to travel, when you have to plan your travel to one point, you have, it doesn't really work out like all the other ICs cars. So the idea here is to plan my travel to know exactly where we'll be needing to stop and uh, charge the car. I have Gmail, of course. I have NFC speed test. I have Amazon. Uh, like a bunch of other small applications, but not nothing really, really, really interesting. So mostly 
as I was saying, nobody, most of the people, they really don't need like iPads. They really don't need. There's no use for them to have the tablet. And me, I use it mostly for photography. So uh, many little things like uh, preparing my photo shoots, putting together poses and prompts and ideas, like you know, gathering ideas, and then also showing them to my clients. And uh, I'm also trying to use it to sketch some logos and some like uh, ideas for my hoodies and the. Uh, other spots we are calling like anyway so that has been it uh those are different applications i have on my ipad as i was saying it's an ipad there gen 4 or 5 don't remember exactly i'll check that one and it's the ipad that came out last year and i'm really really satisfied with it it's not heavy it feels really strong and yeah the only problem is i'm a bit worried about this uh the pencil i'm worried about losing it but yeah it really works out very fine for me and I'm really quite happy with this whole Apple ecosystem. But yeah, as I was saying, on this channel, I'll be talking mostly about tech, productivity and probably fitness. So if you're interested, hit the like button, subscribe. And if you want to be notified when another video comes out, yeah, you can click on the bell also. Thank you very much and see you in the next one. Bye.